time for cruiserweight action on Heartland Wrestling and Haas with the introduction of one of the favorites in the HWA. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the HWA Cruiserweight title. Introducing first, the challenger, heading from 20,000 leagues under the sea, Shark Boy! And his opponent. Well, Shark Boy, to challenge the current HWA Cruiserweight Champion, and Brock Guffman, you know this very loud mouthed gentleman well. He's the redneck messiah. He's Jamie By God Noble from West Virginia, and he is accompanied by the turncoat, the traitor, Helena Heavenly, who has uh, left a pretty checkered path in her wake in the HWA. Hoss with the introduction of the champion. Hailing from West Melbourne, West Virginia, and is scooped to the ring by Helena Heavenly. He's the HWA Cruiserweight Champion, the Redneck Messiah, Jamie Bacon Noble. Now, Brock, let me ask you a question. What do you think that Jamie Noble's daddy back home in West Virginia in the trailer park would do if he lost his championship to a fish? Well, I don't think his daddy would be very upset, but you know what? He's got Helena Heavenly there. Her beauty always distracts the other opponent. If Shark Boy gazes at her, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like the sailors back in the old times with the sirens and them just crashing right into the rocks. Folks, we're gonna run a test later on to figure out if you can figure out what Brock Guff is talking about. While it's, you're talking about sailors, we have uh, we have cruiserweight action in the ring and Shark Boy and Jamie Noble, all puns aside and all jokes aside are two of the finest cruiserweights in the Heartland Wrestling Association. Shark Boy has been a multi-time cruiserweight champion and Shark Boy taking to the air there. You know, Helena Heavenly, she is dressed in a, a designer t-shirt and uh, a scrunchy pair of blue jeans. If Jamie Noble is gonna woo a woman, I think the first thing you ought to do is buy her a better wardrobe. Wait a minute, Shark Boy had him hooked up, but Noble kicked out. And Noble has, has held on to this cruiserweight title by hook and crook, mostly crook, and mostly due to the interference of that young lady. But Shark Boy is determined tonight to take it away. But you know what? And to all the ladies out there that are watching right now, I know that a lot of Walmarts out in the area that are sold out of the Helena line of clothing. But don't fret. I understand there are more trucks on the way. Oh, wait a minute. Noble, did you see that? He came off that top with a drop kick to the, to the arm there. Shark Boy was trying to pull himself up by the top rope, but now, Noble, going for a submission. Oh, wait a minute, Shark Boy got to the ropes. If Noble could have locked that arm out, if he could have locked it out extended with Shark Boy in the middle of the ring, that would have been a submission. And now Noble, continuing. Wait a minute, federal press there. Noble, I don't think should have gone for a cover there. He's got that left arm weakened. He went for it again, he's punished it. I think he's got to stay on it. That may be his best shot. He, he better do something here. He's, he's got to keep wearing Shark Boy down. He's got to keep him off of his feet. He cannot allow Shark Boy to do the, all the fly, high flying antics that Shark Boy is so capable of doing. Well, Noble, as we've said before, a great technician and also a, a tremendous athlete. He's not the biggest dog in the yard. Uh, he's, he's a cruiserweight, uh, definitely. No doubt about it. But the, the fact that he doesn't carry the weight and doesn't carry the size means that he's had to, to be faster and sneakier and more cunning and also has to have outside the ring distractions like Helena Heavenly, has to have that mouth that he runs nonstop that angers, and as we talked with Chad Collier about, Noble angers a lot of his opponents into making mistakes. Something you ought to know something about, Guffman. I don't know anything about mistakes. All I know is that Jamie Noble, of course, he's under a lot of stress. He has, he has to keep that cruiserweight belt. He has to keep his daddy happy. And look, he's got to keep, he's got to keep his girl happy, too. Well, folks, as we said later on in the program for the HWA title, it's Easy Money and Ray Steele. We want to remind you, next week on the program, we'll have results that big event in Dayton. And HWA returns to Dayton's Montgomery County Fairgrounds Coliseum on Wednesday night, February 13th at 7.30 p.m. Advance tickets at Renaissance Music in Dayton and Grips and Tips in West Carrollton. Dayton, Montgomery County Fairgrounds Coliseum on Wednesday, February 13th. More of the HWA and now Noble ducked under, went for the next break for Shark Boy. Shark Boy converted it, inverted DDT, planted Noble down, hit the back of his head on the canvas. Helena Heavenly is, is cheering her man on, and folks in the Davis Arena here cheering on Shark Boy. Can the shark manage to suck it up? It's gut check time at this point. Couple of shots to the head, Noble is staggered, Noble is groggy. Noble went for the knockout blow, and the shark does it and slams him. There's no way, there's no way 
Shark, I mean, Shark Boy's not a messiah. There's no way that he could do this. He's, he's got to give Jamie Noble a timeout or something. There are no timeouts in professional wrestling. I wish there were an announcing. I'd ask you to give me one. Right now, Shark Boy into the corner, but he met that foot. Noble trying to lock on a sleeper, but he doesn't have it. I think it's more desperation at this point. Noble's trying to hang on to this thing. Now Shark Boy. And Shark Boy looks like he's got that sleeper hooked. Trying to put pressure no. on the carotid arteries. Cut the blow, flow of blood off, but Noble dropped down. Shark Boy knocked through the ropes and to the floor. He had it hooked, but now Shark Boy has been hooked, line, and sinkered. <laughs> well, thanks for the fishing joke, Guffman. We appreciate it. Don't call us, we'll call you. Leave your number at the door. Right now, Noble, trying what in the world? He's trying to superplex the man outside in while he was standing on those middle ropes. Shark Boy knocked him off backwards. Now Shark Boy trying to climb the ropes to execute something. Noble standing up, doesn't realize where he is. Wait a minute, is Shark Boy going for that deep sea drop? Oh. Yes, and he nailed it. Oh, he just knocked him goofy. Wait a minute, Helena heavily in the ring. What the heck, the referee does not see the cover. The referee trying to get Helena out of the ring. She doesn't belong there. That's a referee's decision. If, I, if you ask me, I think that ought to be a disqualification to begin with. Oh, she swung at him. Shark Boy, atomic oh. rush, double knockout into Noble. The referee is, is letting them play here. Oh, it's no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who says it's tough being a shark? He just planted his choppers right in Helena's posterior. But Noble, oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Well, that's just ludicrous. Noble retains the cruiserweight title in a questionable decision. Those antics, I don't know how to explain it, folks, otherwise than that's a very lenient official. Shark Boy got caught up in all the romantic possibilities with Helena Heavenly, and you saw he went after Oh, I think I'll cut that line of questioning off at the root. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back with a very special word from Charlie Haas. Don't go away.